Wow, this is the best lighting source I have. So, deal with it. Here's the differential. It's an open differential, which I didn't think, uh, you know, RC cars came with actual working differentials. With a high and a low, now you can see. It is, in fact, an open. I guess I should hold it this way. Just gonna rip a bit of this off. I'm going to remove the last screw out of it. I'm going to open it and see what we find. Sorry for the bad lighting. Again. Sure nothing falls out. Oh, gear fell out. Stick you back there. Okay. Where's that high and low? So here is the high and low switch. Right now we're in low. And it will move this gear out to engage with this one. And in. And then this little cog engages with this larger one. We go from this, this gear, to the small one on the bigger gear. So we do get a big gear reduction. On this side we have what turns everything. Uh, the motor. If I hook up power this will spin. And this is just like a shaft where the gears sit on regular differential this would be the drive shaft coming in or pinion the drive shaft doesn't come in from this way it's sort of a weird setup but it works these are pretty well locked but there's a sleeve on the inside that turns this is low gear this is uh, high it's very oily this would be high this would be low small gear paired with a large gear and then a large gear paired with a large gear so uh, works backwards but it works slip that in there slap her all back together this one there that one there and that one has to line up down there and get the wires out of the way we have the rear in there we go back together. We'll just put this my box of screws. We'll just put one screw in there. Keep it from you know falling apart while we're turning it. Well that's been a remote control car differential. Until further news, I shall talk to you later. Ignore this.